Hi, Rav Chukro here. In this video, I'm going to talk about centrifugal effect and how that comes into Taiji. So I'll explain what it is and uh, demonstrate it in Taiji and in terms of the health value of Taiji and also in terms of the self-defense aspect of Taiji. So here is uh, something called a slide hammer. And what this is used for, uh, in, it has many uses, but one of them is if there's a dent in a car, you drill a hole and screw this, this end in, and then you can't get to it from behind. If it's a fender, let's say it's very hard to get to. So you, you screw it in, pull it, and then do that and you're hammering it out and that's how that works so I'm going to use this to demonstrate the um, centrifugal effect uh, so if I take this I'm going to hold this end of, of it near the handle and I swing it, it goes to the outside that's not its use but that's what I'm just using this to show See, I went to the outside. That's the centrifugal effect. So what's happening is the following. As I swing this, I'm, my uh, hand is going in a circle. This uh, heavy weight, probably about a pound, tends to go in a straight line at constant speed. My the handle is coming toward this in this direction as it curves around. That's causing the weight to ha go more and more out until it hits. So it's it's an it's an outward effect at when something is going in a circle. Um, Galileo, hundreds of years ago, said, and we know that, that this is the basis of mechanics and physics, is that an object will go in a straight line at constant speed unless there's a force. So the weight wants to go in a straight line, but so as this goes out, I'll hold it this way, as it goes out, the weight just keeps going in a straight line until it gets to the end, and that's the centrifugal effect. It comes into play in Taiji in two ways. One way is one way is that when I do a movement, I'll put this down because I want to use it there. When I do a movement and I swing my arm, when I swing my arm, there's an outward effect. So normally, if I just hold my arm this way, gravity is pulling the liquid down, and that causes um, a gradient of pressure which is greatest at my elbow. But if I do it fa faster, there's less of a gradient because there's that outward effect. And the two can actually even balance and my arm, my arm can feel, quote, weightless. At the bottom now, there are two, the two effects add. So the gravitational effect and the centrifugal effect add to make an even greater pressure at the bottom. And that's an inner massage. It also brings my arms out. So if I do the swinging, as I do this, my arms are just hanging. I'm not doing anything with my arms. But see how they're going out. And the faster I do it, the more horizontal they get. This is the pre, you know, it has many uses. One is the tapping is very good for the body, um, for the organs, etc., the acupuncture meridians. But it's also good for enabling the body to take punches. Uh, the other is for the striking. When I do this, if I have to uh, do a strike, okay, that centrifugal effect brings the pressure out to my hand to a pretty large degree. And if my hand is relaxed and my arm is relaxed, that can happen. If, my, if I make a, a tight fist, what happens is all of this area is tightened up and that restricts the motion 
and it also restricts that centrifugal effect. So th this, I'll do it with the hammer again, the slide hammer, and this is what happens. See? So not only is the arm heading, but this centrifugal effect, this in internal centrifugal effect is augmenting that strike. So we get the be best of both worlds in Taiji. We get the health aspect and we get the um, self-defense aspect. Thank you.